Uh, do you tuck your arm as tight under the drones as possible? Or can you hold toward the rear when the bag is inflated more? What's the answer? Good posture. The, <laughs> yeah, the answer is good posture. So uh, the answer is the uh, base drone should rest on our collarbone at roughly a 45 degree angle, maybe a little steeper. The problem with jamming your arm way tight under the drones is that forces the base drone to, uh, to become vertical. And as soon as the base drone becomes vertical, uh, along with other issues, the vertical base drone gives you the down force that forces the bag to slip down your arm. Okay. It now, also so you, acts like a pendulum amplifying <clears throat> any unsteady blowing. Yeah. Cause it, it's kind of leveraged against your body as you blow. Yeah. Uh, and then do you hold toward the rear where the bag is inflated more? Uh, well, it's going to be further toward the rear, but not super far. It's going to be as far toward the rear as I need to, to achieve good balance of the base drone on my collarbone. 45 degree ish, right? Like it should be, it should be angular. Like if it's 30 degrees, that's fine, but we don't want perpendicular to the ground. And then if we move the bag too far forward, we don't want like the, uh, uh, we don't want the parallel base drone either. It should be right about in the middle. A, uh, you know, nice balance. And then that balance gives us a whole bunch of things that we need, including improving the sound of the instrument, right? We also don't want to send the bass drone straight up into the sky, the actual sound of the drone. We don't want it to go straight up into the sky. Uh, and we also don't want it to blast someone directly in the face. We want that 45 degree angle so that it's, uh, so that the actual sound of the instrument is optimal as well. But that's, you know, slightly a slightly more kind of uh, imaginary issue, I suppose, subtle issue. 